Hello, uh, welcome to Art for the Heart Painting Show Series 3. I am uh, Artist Mark. Subscribe and drop a like for more painting videos. <clears throat> Turn this camera around. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how to do evergreen trees. They're not that hard to do. <clears throat> I'm going to use this fan brush because I got loaded with some paint now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do an evergreen tree uh, right in this area. So take your, uh, if you have a fan brush uh, that's good, you can uh, you can use a fan brush or a one inch. So if I make a line, let me uh, get it going again. Make a line. Use one corner of the fan brush. And then go from side to side like you're making little Z's. Let me go, let me get wet for just a minute. I feel a little bit of Ivy Black and then a little bit of, uh, and then go from side to side like this. Like you're making little Z's. And don't be afraid to put shapes into your trees. There you go. When your brush starts running out of paint, you can either do two things. Well, you can, you know, you can turn your brush over and use the other side, or you can go back and reload. In this case, I went back and reloaded my brush. Now I'm using one corner at the fan brush. One corner. Put some shapes into your trees. And if you guys have any questions about this <clears throat> painting I'm doing, working on, uh, just put your questions and comments below, and I will answer your questions on my Friday show. Okay, I'm going to do another evergreen tree, right, well, I'll do another look, looking kind of tree right there. I'm going to do another evergreen tree for you guys. Let's see, let's do one right here. Remember to make a line. Put a little bit of Lindsay oil on my brush. Not much, you don't need much. If you use too much Lindsay oil, what's going to happen is it's going to become real soupy. You don't want that. Okay, now go from side to side. So it's just like, like making these Z's. Okay, now wash this brush out in Otis paint in it. <clears throat> wash all my brushes with Otis thinner, not turpentine. If you wash your brush, brush out with turpentine, <laughs> you will be working by yourself because that's the stinks. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> how to do another little tree. Another tree. I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to use this little brush. Once again, I'm going to go into some Lindsay Ore. I'm going to get some uh, <clears throat> Abbey Black. I'm going to do a tree right in here. Take your brush. I'm going to do a line like this. Bring this line all the way down to right, to right, right, right there. Okay. Now take your brush again. And you can pick up some uh, Burnt Sienna. I'm going to use some burnt sienna. Make some twigs on this tree. <clears throat> Just relax and have fun. And be loose when you paint. That's... 
one of the main things. Okay, there you go. Watch this first out. Uh, if you're having a problem making uh, cabins, I think I'll do another uh, another cabin like right there, and you guys will get to see how easy it is to do a cabin. I'm gonna check my camera. Okay, good. Good. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to do a cabin. It's very easy if you guys uh, are having problems uh, drawing buildings or having problems with doing cabins. Let me show you how easy this is. All right, I'm gonna take some uh, some paint on this brush, make a line. Like that, okay. Go back and remove my brush, okay. Let's do the front of it, uh, like right there, okay. What you do is take your brush, paint an eave like this. This is not a barn; <laughs> it's a cabin. And then do the other eave like this. I'm going to bring this down. Like that, see? Okay. And then... There you go. Wash your brush out and always thinner. Not turpentine. <laughs> <clears throat> and now we'll see how easy it is to do roof. Just do this paint this paint your chimney. Now I want a, a chimney on your, um, yours. If you don't want that, then don't put that. I'm, I'm just showing you how to do this. That's all. Okay, and then you know, paint, your, paint your roof of your cabin like this. This is red and another color. It's kind of like a rosy type color. Just like this. Wash it, brush out, and oats thinner. Okay. And then we're going to do that bottom part. Okay. Oops. It's in titanium white. It's a brown on the brush. Back in titanium white. brown you can do the 
doesn't sound like that. Just like that. And then you go back in that same color. And you're going to get a little bit of brown mixing up with the titanium white. Then you're going to do this side. Just like that. Now, this side right here may be a little bit lighter than that side, but it's okay. It's all right. You want to tone that down just a little bit. Go back and pick up some uh, burnt sienna. So that ha helps to kind of tone it down just a little bit. There we go. Now, so you have to do the windows. Okay. Let this brush off. Now we're going to do the windows. Going some lemon yellow. There's the windows. Okay, now tell me what to do. Let me know how this video helps you. I hope this help, help, helps y'all do so you can do your cabins or your barns. I just want to show you how, how to do this. Okay, and then you want to put the door in. Take some titanium white. Put the finished touches on this cabin. You can do it like that. So it makes it stand stand out. Okay. Just to have fun. Just have a little fun. <laughs> there you go. And that's how that's how you do a cabin in doing with or oil paints. And uh, we gotta have a little tree there. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.